Well, on Thursday, we told you about legislation being introduced in Ohio that would place one of two major airports in the Ravenna area. Valley Representative Mike Loichik is a co-sponsor of the bill, but his district doesn't include Portage County. Loichik describes this idea as, quote, common sense legislation. So how practical is it to bring yet another airport to Northeast Ohio? Connor Steffen has that answer in our Watchdog Report. Yeah, guys, both lawmakers and aviation experts alike are scratching their heads at this bill. They say it simply doesn't make sense. And unfortunately, we couldn't get a hold of Lloyd Check to make sense of it either. Legislation hoping to attract business, spur job creation through the development of airport hubs. You know, it's a hiring bill, I, I, I can see that. House Bill 610, co-sponsored by State Rep Mike Loichik, the legislation outlines plans to develop two new major airports in two regions of the state. It's what Loichik calls, quote, common sense legislation. Well, it's, it's a far riskier proposition. Airline industry analyst, Bob Mann. It would propose construction of new airports uh, in regions that today don't have a lot of scheduled commercial airline service. Man says while air travel demand is making a strong recovery without that necessary amount of demand warranting new development. From, from, from the standpoint of a, an airline executive, you'd have to say, well, this, th that's, that's interesting. Man says without prior commitments coming from airlines to fly out of these proposed airports, the legislation's essentially a gamble. Step one would be do the research before the bill heads to a committee hearing. A hearing representative Michelle Lepore Hagen will be a part of. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing the sponsor testimony. She wonders why Lloyd Chick representing Trumbull County would sponsor a bill looking to build an airport in a neighboring county. It's not the way an elected official should be working to represent the constituents of their district. And she says especially when that district's airport is currently being met with renewed efforts to spur activity. We are trying to rebuild our community. We're trying to get back on our feet. Just last week, the announcement of a bipartisan bill looking to designate the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport as a primary airport with commercial activity. Anytime that we can band together Democrats and Republicans, state, federal, local, and work Work on one project together. That's really the path we need to be going in. With your watchdog report, I'm Connor Steffen.